good evening. We're going to start tonight with a very interesting guest, uh, Nancy Bellen, and uh, she's a producer. So we're going to find out together how she got started and uh, what is um, involved in producing a show. Uh, Nancy um, <laughs> Bellen, welcome to the French American Television Program. Uh, thank you for staying also. Uh, I would like, first of all, to ask you, how did you get involved uh, in producing for television? Well, I got involved in television as Period. a whole. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, when I was a small child, oh. I had a, a lot of frustration about the time I was born, the technology exists to blow up the planet, yes. you know, as we know it. And uh, luckily, the same technology that allows us to do that also allows us to communicate with an Better. entire planet at the same time. Mm -hmm. You know, we could have a live broadcast of Venezuela yes. and find out what's happening there. And that fascinates me. Yes. So it makes me feel like I have some power in the face of the like awesome presence of technology. So you felt <coughs> that by being a pr becoming a producer, you were maybe able to communicate something you want to communicate? Exactly. Are you able to do that now? Or are you communicating something else? I, I feel like I'm getting there. Yes. Um, I work as a freelance producer for uh, a local television station in Santa Rosa. And when I'm there... Is it the commercial uh, channel? It is a commercial channel. I produce commercials and uh, corporate videos, uh, documercials, that kind of thing. So you kind of do what the, the client wants? I do what the client wants there. However, You I pick your clients. No, <laughs> I formed my own uh, production company. Okay. I worked for uh, CBS, actually Robert Conrad, the actor's company, CBS, for about eight months, and decided I really wanted to be making my own stuff. The writer's strike happened, and I was out of work. So my husband and uh, so seven what did other you friends on started a company. We, we deal with um, issues of separation for us are real important. Cause that's what kind what of separation? Separation, I mean, uh, the things that keep... The French, the French, and the Americans, the Americans, or the Russians, you know, uh, anything apart. apart, exactly. Yeah. So, so, what, so what far we've been dealing with uh, Alzheimer's patients yes. and doing uh, informational videos, documentaries, uh, recruiting volunteers for respite centers, and also with a uh, face-to-face network that deals with AIDS patients. So you think these kind of issues are what keeps us apart? I mean, uh, I think the way it's handled is, I really do. You know, for example, the AIDS uh, keeps. For people. example, we you know AIDS is something we don't want to deal with, so we leave them apart. Exactly. Mostly, what you see on television are, for instance, how not to catch AIDS, what not to do, and how to avoid it. Right. But it's not dealing with the fact that a large number of our population is now contracting it, and what do you do when a portion of our society has it? So face to face, uh, which is, is a caregiving name? organization. Okay. In, uh, they're the Sonoma County Network. Yes. We produced a video for them that I feel dealt with how to give assistance as opposed to being caught in the fear of the AIDS epidemic. How to give assistance to the AIDS patients? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what did you produce for them? A video <laughs> yeah, okay. that would recruit volunteers yeah. and let other communities know they can how they can begin at a grassroots level. And this is exactly what you want to do anyway? Yeah, and I felt that it's effective because it dealt with what do you do once a problem exists in your community? You know, it's, it's too late. Any already. problem at all? I mean, you deal other also with problems, uh, racial problems or... Uh, we hope to be, yeah. But by, by handling them in such a way that... Uh, it's peaceful how to help. rather than... Yeah, uh, like how to deal with the problem instead of sweeping it under a, a oh. rug. Yeah, and so uh, you've been doing this for a year and a half? Yeah. yeah. And how many have you produced so far? Like two or three? Uh, two or three uh, for the respite center and uh, Alzheimer's and one for face-to-face -face AIDS network. Um, Alzheimer's is a disease, so it's it also something... Uh, I mean, creates separation. Oh, create separation between people who can't deal with these people yeah. and stuff like that. Exactly. So, the, and the name of your company is called Separation? Livestream Pictures. Oh, so I see. So, we want to intrude in the live stream in such a way that we bring attention to areas of separation. Yeah, in terms of producing, in terms of um, uh -huh. budget, and in terms of right. finding clients, is it hard for somebody who wants to start produ production to get started? Absolutely. It's very difficult. How, how much, uh, for example, somebody who wants to start their own production company should start with? If you don't have experience, I wouldn't recommend trying it. 
Yeah. Uh, I was fortunate enough to work with, like I said, Robert Conrad's production company for about eight months. And, and I learned a phenomenal, about pro a phenomenal amount about production, what goes into it. Uh, just, just rules, union rules, how do you handle talent, how do you pay with talent, how do you take care of your crew, how do you order equipment. Yeah. It's a much larger scale than a You have how many now. cameras are you dealing with when you go on the field, I mean, to film them? Generally one. One? Yeah. How much does it cost for one? <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't want to get into budget of it, but... No, uh, I mean, it's important. I mean, why? Because if somebody's listening wants to become a producer... Uh, no. know. Um, I don't think that actually the budget and the reading of the equipment is the difficult part. Oh, do you think the person's uh, knowledge of... Uh, exactly. You know, what I tend to do, I will take, for instance, not something my company does, but if I get hired out by, say, like Television 50 to do a corporate project, yeah, I meet with the client, I write you, the script as you, a producer. You mean it's not done instantaneously? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's done all by the script? Yeah, I write the script, and it has to be tight, because if you don't have a tight script, then you're wasting time in the field with a crew, you're wasting film, you're wasting footage, you're wasting time, basically. Okay, so everything has to be by the line. Exactly. And, um, and then you take care of finding the crew, is that it? Uh, if I'm working, uh, f yeah, I hire the crew. Yeah. So I, I write the script, I meet with a client, I write the script, I confirm the script with the client, I schedule a shoot time, I hire a crew, I get the equipment together, if it's out in the field, cameras, lights, etc. And then do it. Shoot it, shoot it, and as a producer in this capacity, I also direct when we're on location. Okay, so you become a director behind the camera uh, once it's all set. Exactly, and I generally have one camera operator and one to two production assistants. So it's not, a, I'm not talking on a large scale. Thing. Yeah, like four people can do it. Exactly, exactly. And then you produce something of good quality after that? I mean, yeah, and but the key is not having the, has not, is, is foresight. You know, it's not just bringing the camera out and shooting. Mm -hmm. It's having a tight script to work from, knowing what you need to get in the field mm -hmm. so that you're already editing in your mind so you don't waste a lot of time. Yeah, so then when the, you have the, the tape, you don't have to do too much editing. Exactly. And then you, when you log it, you log it so well, by the time you go into editing, you know, you've made a lot of decisions. Great. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, I suppose... Pretty interesting. Well, thank you very much for coming tonight, I mean yeah. today, yeah. and um, maybe uh, we can uh, meet again as producers. Great. Thank All you right. very thank much. You. So this was uh, Nancy Bellin, a uh, producer for TV20, uh, TV50 50. 50 in uh, Sonoma. Thank you very much. Thanks. <laughs>